going on, guys? I'm Mia Bell, class of 2019 concert, and I got my boo, Angelica Villa, here. Hello. All the way from the Bronx. Yeah. <laughs> now, listen, I came all the way from Long Island, and you know that's deep. Yes. Oh, you came driving? No, because oh. I don't do that. I got a ride, okay? I don't do that. <laughs> no, so you did you come driving. Yeah, but I didn't drive. I, I'm I a train see, girl. I didn't drive either, but right. I came driving. <laughs> exactly. So how do you feel being in Philly for the concert? I feel, good. I feel good. This is my second time here, so, you know, okay. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Thank y'all so much for having me, right. you know, perform for y'all. You know, it's going to be litty. <laughs> yes, we're really excited to have you. More in the morning has yes. been getting crazy. Yes. I hear it every 20 minutes on the radio ah. in Philly, <laughs> in New York, wherever I am. Oh, snap. How has the success of that record I been mean, for you? How do you feel about for it? For me, it's not really success because I feel like, you know, it, it's an accomplishment. Right. It is an achievement because, you know, it, it, it's, it's a long way for me to reach success. And right. I, I mean, at least for me, like, because I, I have a lot of things that I really want to accomplish. Right. Like, you know, producing, engineering, um, publishing for other people. I want to become a model, um, right. an actress. I want to do everything. And so it's like, this is just the beginning. Right. You know, there's a lot more work that I got to do. <laughs> yes, I understand. But you have to pat yourself on the back for Thank everything you. that you've been doing now. Because so I see much. you all over the place. Yeah. Yesterday, where were you? Were you in Connecticut yesterday? Um, yeah, I was. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Every other day, you're in another <laughs> state doing another show. It's truly a blessing, though. Yes. It's truly a blessing. Now, talk to us a little bit about how Fat Joe met you. Okay, okay, okay. And, yes. you know, took you to where you are now. So, when I first started singing, I was 10 years old, and I started on YouTube. Right. Then, you know, a couple years later, because it, it kind of took a hot minute, um, I first got in the studio when I was 12 years old. Okay. Years later, Instagram came out, and right. then, you know, everybody was on the wave. Then the 15-second videos came out. I'm like, hmm, right. let me try to do little covers on here. Mm -hmm. Then later on, the down 30 line. 30-second videos. Did 15. it go from 15 no, it to went, 30? It went from 15. I remember 15, but did it go to 30, then a minute? It went from 15 to a minute. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know, I, like, I, I wanted to try it out, little 15-second videos, and right. I felt like it was kind of working. Right. And so, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm going to try the one-minute videos, because right. later on, that's when they came out with the one-minute videos. I'm like, I'm going to try to do my covers on here and right. go platform. Right. You know? So it, it kind of worked out a little bit, little by little. I had to keep pushing, keep, like, you know, posting pictures. Right. And um, keep doing um, um, singing videos. But then later on, the Wild Thoughts um, song came out with uh -huh. the DJ Khaled, Riri, and the um, Bryson Tiller. Uh -huh. So everybody was making their own freestyle. My manager, he was like, yo, um, you should, since you write, you should do your own. Right. So, you know, I look at that video today, and I cringe at it. So if y'all look at it, listen, listen. <laughs> But listen, uh. who did it catch the attention of? <laughs> huh? That's right, what's important. So because of that video, right? Pretty Lou, one of the hottest hosts in New York City. He oh, I know. It. Yes. yes. And then, you know, he's really close to Fat Joe. And Fat Joe, he actually put on his page. And he was like, yo, who's that girl? And at the time, I was already 17. You know, I was still a baby. I'm still a baby right now. But, yeah. you know, I was. he was like, you know, it's a 17-year-old Dominican from, from the Bronx. She's an upcoming singer, you know. She's actually doing the single to my mixtape that I'm working right now because he was working on a mixtape. And, you know, he, he invited Joe to the studio as we were working on it. And the first thing, he popped up with his wife, too. Shout out, Lorena. Oh. And he, the first thing that he said was, you know, you only got one shot. Right. You can only impress somebody one time. Right. Play me three of your hottest tracks. I don't care. Three of the hottest. Only right. three. But always remember, you can never make a first impression twice. Right. I was like. That's the truth. Baby. <laughs> that is the truth. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing that really stuck with me. So right. that's when I first met him. Okay. Yeah. Now, how are things getting different for you? Like, are you still able to hang out in the Bronx and still, like, you know, be with your homegirls? Or are you so busy that you don't even get to go home anymore? What's it like now? I'm, I'm so busy to the point where I don't really get to go home. But I've always been the type to always work. So I'm, like, I, I'm a workaholic. If I'm right. home chilling, I can't. I go crazy because I right. feel like I'm not doing anything productive. Right. Um, I don't. As far as friends, I don't really have a lot of friends. I mean, I don't have friends at all. Maybe, mm -hmm. like, my makeup artist, she's, like, my friend. Okay. And my hairstylist, Ricky. Family? But Your cousins? Family. Fa no cousins. Okay. Like, I mean, I got cousins, but, not like, I don't really they talk to them like that. They're not your friend friends. Okay. Yeah, they're not my fam fam. Okay. My fam fam is my brother, my mother, my my, my sister, my uncle, my and grandma. And that's all we need. Right. Like, that's, we, we got that little circle. But right. they're my brother, my sister, they're my best friends. Right. So when I go home, you already know it's Liddy with them. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Yeah. So... As far as more in the morning, yes. 
actually, I got a question about that in a little bit. But the project, yes. When can we anticipate that? So it's coming really, really soon. I already finished the project, but right now we're working on the visuals. I have another music video coming out in my single. Ooh, I can't wait for the world to hear that. I'm but, excited. Um, we, right now we're working on that. The single's already done, but right now like we're working on the whole execution of the visuals and all that stuff, and then just the rollout and making sure like that everything and the timing is right. Right. Because. When I first got signed with Fat Joe, that's when we re recorded that Morning Morning song. Okay. I was like 17. I'm 20 now. So right. it's been a hot minute and we just released in this song. Right. So we have so many songs generated, but it's all about the execution from here. Right now, lately, I've been working on the second project. So, you know. Ah. <laughs> okay. So you're ready to get it out there. Yeah. I'm so excited. Now, I know you got to go on stage, but I have to ask you, are you singing to anyone in particular? Because I'm not in a relationship, but whenever I hear more in the morning, I start, yeah. you know, yeah, thinking like, about Ooh. you start reminiscing no, yes I'm not, I'm not singing to anyone in particular <laughs> okay but you know i just really want people to connect with me right so they can feel like you know oh she's talking about my ex boo yes. thing. hey like i want them to <laughs> i want them to think about their ex boo thing right. or their current boo thing right or the boo thing that's coming in the future or the boo thing that you know you got your eye on you yes. like oh, you never like a track <laughs> <laughs> right. You did a great job at that because I feel it when I hear it. <laughs> Thank and you so I know much. the world resonates with that record too, Thank especially you. since it's a great sample. Now, Bonnie and Sean. Well, actually, it really comes from Edith Piaf. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know what it is. Now, before you get on stage, we got to do a little bit because <laughs> that's how I greeted you. Yes. And I can never get enough of you. Hey, find myself wanting more in the morning while, while I'm out here making time for you. I am more and more and more. Hey, I can never get enough of you. Find myself wanting more in the morning while I'm out here making time for you. Ooh, I want more and more and more. Boom 1039, I'm Mia Bell. This is Angelica Villa. Thank you I so much. I love her. Yeah.